Hello, and welcome back to the Fudoku Side, where we last left off on what would be probably the decision for good to bad ending. I don't remember there being any other option in the Mitchell ending other than the one choice for good to bad ending. I'm not entirely sure which one will lead to one. I'm pretty sure I pulled the trigger will most likely lead to the bad ending, because it seems like it's crossing a fucking line that Yuji's not supposed to cross. So, I have thought about it a little bit. And we're pulling the fucking trigger. I mean, I'm gonna. I plan to do both endings anyway. I hope it doesn't go on too much longer. I don't. This has been a very long ending, and it has been like uh, Makina's route has been very long, and it has really worn on me just how long it is, for better or for worse, for some of the great moments and the good moments and some of the eh moments. It has been very long, and um, all right. This is goodbye. Makina, it's over. I put an end to everything. This was for the best, wasn't it? I really hope it's not, like, when there is a good ending, that it's not like an ending that's going to spend, like, another... several episodes on it, I don't know. Right, Makina? Ah, that's right. We've got to get back over to me and Makina tomorrow. From the outside, there's a sound of several people approaching the room. If someone finally looked up my driver's license, or maybe Miss Sawada out there reached the alarm button out of sheer willpower. In any case, it seems like I don't have much time to waste dawdling around. Ah, it is satisfying though. Ah, god damn it, what a pain in the ass. That's killing me. Sounds like the guards who rushed into the next room are hurling their body against the door in an attempt to break it down. But the door was that easy to knock open, it's not like I would have bothered unlocking it myself. Yeah, I get that for you. I twist the knob and open it from the inside, stepping into Swata's office in one smooth motion. The men in black suits outside start, uh, with surprise that as the door swings open, I bring my gun to bear and pull the trigger without hesitation. First the man directly in front of me. I double tap into the abdomen. God! As his partner falls, the other man hurriedly reaches for the P220 uh, JP in his holster. My next shot lands in his elbow. At least it doesn't seem like I'm going for kill shots. Unfortunately, this man's got good reflexes. As he falls backwards from the impact of these uh, elbows, his hand closes around the gun in his holster, firing off a shot in my general direction. Ah, <clears throat> uh, it wasn't like he had time to aim. But by sheer bad luck, the bullet directly strikes my left thigh. A gaping hole opens in the trousers of my uniform, and a round clump of blood spurts violently out of the wound. Quite suppressing. Quickly suppressing the injury with my free hand, I jump to the side and return fire. Bastard. The man's quick to recover as well. Rolling backwards with the force of my bullet, he pulls out his gun from his holster and smoothly transfers the weapon to his undamaged weak hand. Before I can go to uh, get a bead, he squeezes off multiple shots. Damn it. Almost a flash and sound of the bullet striking the wall behind me are simultaneous. Dodging isn't an option at this distance. Impacts to my right flank and left shoulder. A harsh buzzing like the wings of a wasp. Half my left ear is gone. Ah. I don't have the luxury of counting my bullets, let alone lining up the perfect shot. Pulling the trigger again and again, I rush forward at the man. Get the hell out of my way! It's a point blank battle. Almost like two boxers walking to the middle of a ring and slamming away at each other until one falls. Some detached parts of me laugh scornfully. <laughs> Not exactly a sniper sort of fight. As my opponent falters, I burst past him into the hallway. Don't think I've ever met an assassin who wait when you ask them to. But as I continue my sprint for the emergency exit, my knee uh, abruptly gives out underneath me. Without time to ready myself for the fall, I crash face first into the floor. Ugh. Ah, oh, god damn, it fucking hurt. I force myself to my knees, dragging my body off the ground. The blood streaming out of my nose drips heavily from my chin, staining the carpet below. Oh, don't screw with me, you piece of shit. Pressing myself with a hand on the wall, I support my wounded left leg protectively. Somehow I manage to stand and crawl forward to the emergency exit. Alright, I'm not gonna... I'll definitely come to pick you up.
Ooh. Time actually has changed. Do you all know what happened? あ、先輩、おはようございます。昨日冗談じゃないわよ。ハイリスグローバル本社代表取締役が暗殺されたのよ。しかも、犯行を行ったのはうちの教官。でも、マスコミに対する粉飾はうまくいったんですよね。ほ
大変ですね人事じゃないわようちだって身内が火を出したことへのエクスキューズで各方面にゴリゴリやられるんだから面倒な仕事増やしてくれましたよね9029号もいつだってそうよそれが9029号の資質と言ってもいいわいつかは私も9029のケースオフィサーをすることになるんですかねそうねもし当代の9029の死亡が確認されて次代の9029にナンバーを引き継いだとしたらその時はあなたに預けてもいいわよ I'm sure she's so excited for that. え本当にあ,あでもきっと私には無理ですよあらどうして私はきっと先輩みたいに強くはなれませんどういう意味言葉の通りですよ緊急連絡どこからイリスマキナの入院先の病院からです読み上げますか No, let's just wait here for a couple more minutes, then read it. お願い入院中のイリスマキナが病室から逃亡いなくなったそうです Yes, okay, good なんですってどういうことわかりません意識はまだ回復していなかったのですが最近はバイタルも安定していたようですから不意に目覚めてそのまま逃亡したものと思われますなんてこと<笑> This is actually turning out better than I thought it might. Depends what state Yuji is in at the moment. So, what is this? I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the next one. I'm not sure if I'm going to I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea, right? Senpai? I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the next one. You're actually doing it! I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the next one. You just want what, like, wipe your hands clean of all this? I mean, at this point, the only thing that's left for everyone is more trouble, right? She can run all she wants. It's not like there's anywhere left to run to. Even if we、uh, leave those two be, there's nothing more they can do. Those children have no allies. If any hand should reach out to help them now, it could only be that of the devil. A secret organization unbound by law, taking even irredeemable criminals so long as they have potential. Binding them with amnesty, forcing them into advanced training, domesticating watchdogs to serve as the national interest. Oh, okay. That's right. Only the devil's hands. The hands of our company, C I R S. A dog that's been domesticated stays that way for life. They may always run, but in the end, they'll grow hungry and return to the kennel. Our dogs don't know how to live without a master. After all, that's the very reason they've earned their nickname. What is, she What is she implying there? That they're going to come back? To leave off on, wouldn't it?、Uh, sorry. Guess I'm a little late. You wait long. It's fine. There's no way I'd die, right? Gave you my word on that. And I kept my other promise to. I put an end to everything. Everything. I won't let anyone make you sad again. It's all over now. Maybe.
Maybe. I guess time will tell. Oh, it's it. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Take this and throw it away someplace. Nobody's ever going to find it. What? Uh, what are we needing that thing? Where are we going now? Back into my suit. I wrote in your name. Uh, Count Scott. So many million you gave to me, and all the money I've saved up at work until now. Every last dime. It's yours now. The uh, the pin is nine zero two nine. Don't forget that it's nine zero two nine. It does seem like that, doesn't it? Also, one more thing. <sighs> Sorry. I... I can't see so well anymore. Take this and... Hold on to it. Uh, a business card. From my... Company. If you run into trouble, some some problem. You can't just solve yourself. Call Call this number. Oh, and I will know it's not showing up in OBS sets this time either. But this is like, okay, so this is actually, actually, actually a, um, it has... Oh god, was this a good ending? Which one's the... that seemed like a bad ending. Huh. At least it is an ending. <laughs> At the very least, it's an ending. That's a good sign, right? Because it's, I, well, other than the fact that it's like, like, sort of, really weirdly low resolution, I can see the pixels. I can see the pixels in, like, the art. That's really weird. Well, it's a bit weird because I'm pretty sure in the Mitchell one, did the, did the bad ending even have credits? If it did, it didn't have anything of, like, the particular, like, song variety and, like, showing all the art from the route and stuff like that. Okay, well, if, if this is the good ending, then damn. Then damn. Really? I have to be honest, I never expected anyone to die in the good ending. Partly, 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 I, I think I brought this up before, I forget if I forgot to bring it up. Because I have been told that the sequel sort of assumes all the routes are true, at least to some extent. So I sort of came under the assumption that that any of the endings, at least the good endings, would result in at least everyone alive. 
Like at least all the main cast. Like Yuji probably wouldn't die. Oh my. Okay. The forest of doubt Makina ending theme. Hmm. Well, I like the ending. But, oh, it's going through everyone's ending theme. Yumiko ending theme, holograph, Amani ending theme, home. Michu ending theme, skip. Sachi ending theme, just like today. Insert song, Tuna Fish Beautiful. Oh god. Is that. Have we heard that already? Or did I just, like, block that out of my mind? I might have just blocked that out of my mind. Hmm. I did like the end. I did like the route. Like I said, it went on probably much much too long for its own good. I think there's a lot of parts that made sense, and it made sense why it progressed one thing to another and uh, so forth. Like, you had these different sections of, like, Eugene getting close to Makina, Yuji teaching Makina, the whole thing about Makina and her family and stuff. And I think that's... Yeah, it was all good in its own right, but it just started to wear on after a time to a point where it was like... Maybe this isn't the best idea, that sort of thing. Like, they should have been more brief about the story. Like, the different parts were fine and all, but it... It did not need to take another... How many episodes has it been since I finished the major one? I think I ended it on 34. This... This will probably be 50. If this isn't the bad ending, then there might be more episodes too, as far as I know. Um... I really hope there's not, like, a significantly uh, amount more after the other one. If this is... Is this really the good ending? I'm just... I have to... I guess I have to go see the other choice and see what happens. Because I wasn't expecting actual credits here. Huh. Oh, my. JB was implying that they'd end up coming back. Maybe Magina, in her current state, the only solution she'd have is to come work for that company and become the, no the new 9029. So, what was I saying, Cats in the Cradle? If it does end up like that, then that would make a whole lot of sense. Uh, then I would say I called that way a long, long time ago. But yeah, I'm definitely going to do the other ending. And I'm not sure. If I'm going to... I might want to take... Hmm... Hmm... I think I might... After that, I... You know, assuming there isn't more episodes. I'm hoping there's some more. Ooh, after credits. Okay, epilogue time. Bright red. Doesn't she have a bright yellow sports car? Is it someone else? Bright sports car in the Another person from the company? So, wait, so did we not did Yuji not die? Oh god, they so they so implied that so heavily at the end there. If he didn't die, that would be like what? Okay. By the sea or by the... Whatever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> True, I won't deny that. I can't say I've ever considered going to a bread exclusive bakery. I mean, most people probably just get bread and or go to a bakery in a supermarket. Okay. 
嫌な顔をしてみんな出て行ってしまう。Why is that? ファンの味には少しだけ自信があるだけに。Yep. 食べもしないうちに変えられてしまうと。Have you figured out why they're grimacing and I'm a bit confused by. So. Is this just part of the. Oh god, if this is. Oh god, if this is what I think it is. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Uh, I hope that's just part of the angle the shot is at. You're thinking the exact same way Yuji did, eh? You're thinking in the identical way to Yuji, eh? Oh, that's a bit different than what he did with his master. Uh, so I was thinking about. The, yep, that's. That's particularly weird. Uh, and that garbage bag there. I was thinking, why might they be grimacing? And one of the other thoughts that came to mind was. Maybe it's a corpse. Maybe it's Yuji co Yuji's corpse. And now I'm thinking that's probably the case. Yeah, sounds like a plan, Magina. This is fucked up. If it is what I think it is, don't worry, I'll eat it all today. You can get that yourself, kid. Is there just quotation marks around this? Makina, you don't have to water the apple tree. Oh, don't you have to water the apple tree? Something about this seems more than disturbing. Maybe it's already withered. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Are you? Oh, isn't that an interesting thought? Oh. Um. Is Escal. Oh, I can hear the flies! Oh, that's, that's a nice touch. This escalated much more quickly than I think it probably should have. Yeah, you're right, Makina. ソラを見上げれば真っ青に晴れて海岸に出て花火をしよう。へへ。そう。そんなに子供っぽいかな。うん。分かってるのよ。もうすぐお腹の赤ちゃんが生まれてくるし、きっと大丈夫。ちゃんと優しいママになるから。んあれ電話だ
準備して待機了解あそうごめんね私仕事に行ってこなきゃあ、はあ大丈夫無理はしないのよほらお腹の赤ちゃんのこともあるし when you're coming home that I don't know when but we'll be together then I know we'll have a good time then ねっ愛してるのよパパ大丈夫何も心配はいらないのよ私もう何でも一人でできるようになったのよだから今度は私がパパを出す大丈夫私が絶対パパを守るからだから静かに待っててね気兼ねを引くとき I did not think that one, that line was going to go on that much longer, but, um, my bad. Um, <laughs> that was awkward. Is that why it was so pixelated? Why they had such a bad, like, resolution? It was like a fake out good ending. There's no way that's a good ending. There's no motherfucking way that's a good ending. I feel. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. I oh shoot! I lost track of my mouth. I almost pressed pull the trigger again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's right. I'm almost not worthy to be called a mother, but <sighs> still parent and child. I think you're your parent, even if they're the scum of the earth. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. No one's killing your parent. Oh, I suppose he says he would. God damn it, it's no good. Now I'm remembering. I can't kill. <laughs> it's no good. I'm no good after all. <laughs> what a joke. What a complete goddamn joke. What the hell am I doing? Oh, he flats on my backside on the spot. I explode into roars of laughter. <laughs> It's the briefest of chances, but Arisu Kiyoka seizes it. As I laugh with the bitterness of a man who'd given up on the world itself, the man's, uh, the woman's hands leaves for the alarm button under her desk. And in that moment, I really truly don't give a damn about her, about myself, about anything in the world. I hurry footsteps in the corridor within seconds, the sound of someone bursting into the secretary's office. Yes, that's that. Oh, for a piece of shit like me, I guess it was a pretty respectable showing. A thought fills me with something like resignation. My throbbing heart slows. Red hot flame in the center of my mind grows cold and still. Guards in the office outside are throwing their bodies against the door, aggravated by the refusal to open. For some reason, their obvious irritation strikes me as somewhat abusing. <laughs> so, they're going to break out the master key, huh? Yes, that means that they're probably not off people. Ah, uh, I. Not that I particularly care at this point. It's a simple trick. I take a shotgun with the massive 12 gauge ammunition and blast away the upper and lower hinge of the uh, on the left, then uh, then the area by the lock. Not pretty, but it opens just about any door. Hence the nickname. Soon enough, the door is smashed violently inward. A man in black bursts into the room, shoulder first, leading with one leg like a charging martial artist. His automatic point at the ground. <laughs> Oh, fucking bullshit. Yeah, figured. I see, they're going to turn me into a terrorist. Huh? Well, that would have happened anyway, apparently. J.A.B. must have been the one who prepared that scenario. <laughs> Wonder if I'll be from the north or the east. Well, probably the north. Drop my weapon, he says. Fortunately, I already tossed my gun to the floor before you even came in, Rambo. Why <laughs> the hell would I even father, uh, bother fighting back this late in the game? Just dispose of me however you like. Ah, oh, shit. That's right, I promised Mikey not to deny. Sorry, kid. I screwed up. Don't think I'll be able to come pick you up. I really am sorry, Magina. 
<laughs> oh, fuck you! I want to shoot you all over again. Oh, you think that? God damn, she's insane. She deserves to die. Like, fuck it. The, the boy hurt me. Kill him. <laughs> I'm Gary. <laughs> the two security police have already placed themselves between me and Arisa Kyoko. Completely shutting her body. One think the woman was bawling like a baby a minute ago. Even since she's standing beto uh, behind someone's back, her voice gets a lot louder. Outside of you, really does remind me of my old man. <laughs> a weak laugh, tinged with self mockery, pushes its way out of my lungs. Large as the SP officer reaches out to restrain me, probably looking to grab my wrist, yank it behind my back, and press my chest to the floor with his knee. Ah. Ugh, the instant that massive baseball mitt of a hand seizes my right wrist with bone crushing force, I reflexively try to pull it free. <laughs> Circling behind me, the man strikes the side of my head with a three stage extendable baton. A tingling warmth spreads to the back of my nose. Uh, that attitude pisses me off. He has power, I have none. I'm not even resisting. He still knocks me around. That's perfectly normal to him. He comes as naturally as breathing, and all of a sudden it makes me very, very angry. My right hand twists instinctively in his grip. I lean back, shifting my weight to my waist. Pushing myself off the ground, I jerk his wrist sharply upward as I turn to phase him. Gah! Gah! Oh. <laughs> Even as I exhale, hair in my lungs through my pursed lips, my left hand reaches the, for the man's eyes, but he's, uh, but he's ready for it. As Badan falls to the ground, his open hand catches my wrist. We've got each other. Uh, we've each got each uh, hold of each other's wrist by now. It's become a contest of strength. Against a muscle monster like this, it's just another grappling match isn't going to end well for me. With a small twitch of my captured wrist, I abruptly let the muscles my arm go slag, no longer resisting his attempt to overpower me. The man's torso lur uh, lurches forward, destabilizing his uh, body center of gravity. <laughs> I don't give him a chance to regain his balance. Guiding his arm up and over my shoulder, I step forward, trying to use the weight of the unbalanced body as a leverage for a throw. <laughs> Know how to plant yourself. But guys who, uh, who've done judo are seriously different to uproot. Abruptly changing tactics, I release my grip on his left wrist with a jerk to the side. Again, taken by surprise, he waves his hand in circles like a beginner on a balance beam. As I move to attack my opponent, the SP who'd been uh, hanging back to guard reach Kyoko lunges at me from behind. Quickly twisting around as we tumble across the floor, I lift my legs into the air and push forward off of my back and drive with toes into an onrushing officer's gun. <coughs> Using the backlash for my kick, I roll forward over the stomach and chest of the man who collapsed with me. The momentum carries me to my feet and above the policeman. I instantly drop my knee onto his throat like the blade of a guillotine. Yeah. Ooh, that's what that's what Machina did, right? Maintaining the pressure, I frantically search for the gun I abandoned earlier, but it's already been kicked to the corner of the room. Much too far uh, for me to reach out and grab. Need a weapon. The man pinned underneath uh, my knee seems uh, a good option, but when I flip uh, uh, back his jacket, there's no gun strapped to his armpit. Must be a hip holster. To keep my tongue in irritation, I effectively grab the golden ballpoint pen, peeking out from the breast pocket of his Oxford Get shirt. The third of Greece's defenders brings his shotgun to bear. You wanna shoot? Go ahead. I grab the man underneath me by the black collar of his suit and tumble away, pulling his body with me as a human shield. So. Doesn't matter if you've got rifle slugs or double-o buckshots at this range, there's no way for him to shoot me without killing his comrade as well. No one for Taco Damon would ever make that choice. In the first place, not relying on firearms except when strictly necessary is a point of pride in that organization. That said, I've got three opponents, one of them may be out of the picture, but if I just sit here, the others will subdue me. What do I do? <coughs> While I'm stalling, the man I knock down with a kick to the solar plexus totters to his feet, and there's no more time to hesitate. What do I do? As my eyes start around the room, I tighten my grip on the human shield's collar, bending his body backwards like a bow against my knee. And in that moment, something slips out of his jacket and tumbles noisily into the floor. Yes, huh? It's a palm-sized spray can. Almost looks like a plain black bottle deodorant at a glance. But the contents are without a doubt. Fuck you, game. Uh, chlorobenzyl... Chloro... 
benzyl chlorobenzylidemol on a try <laughs> chlorobenz this is like asking the game's mocking me at this point it is it is chlorobenzylidenomolanano trial <laughs> I call this a fucking enough in other words dear guess I quickly pick up the can and fire blast off into the face of the approaching officer Come on, let's put some in Kyoko's face too. Although it certainly seems effective, it's not the kind of CS my company would be using. Chemical spray down is a has a different miss, so it can't be used against distant opponents. But the gas, riding the currents of the room's air conditioning, begins to flow towards Arisa Kyoko and her third guard. So, uh, struck suddenly by a plan of sorts, I jab the golden ballpoint pen in my hand to the side of the spray can with all my might. I instantly cover my nose and mouth with the cuff of my work uniform. Tears are already pouring from my eyes and streams. Pulling out the pen from the canister, I hurl a little gas grenade at the man with the shotgun. <laughs> Probably acting on pure instinct as an SP officer, the man throws a Risu Kiyoka to the ground, covering her body protectively with his own. Now. I leap to my feet, mouth buried in the crook of my arm, and bolt for the door. On the verge of escaping, I notice a large tabletop lighter in the shape of a goddess in the reception desk and reach out to grab it. <coughs> oh, if I can just blow up the room. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's flammable gas. There's a the sound of shotgun being pumped behind me. Now that I've left my shield behind, he has no reason to hold back. <coughs> and a bag to my right shoulder, like the blow of a giant hammer. My field of vision is instantly dyed in shades of red. The bone-shattering shock travels through my skeleton, shaking my skull violently. Its 12 gauge blast is powerful enough to explode the ca uh, capillaries across my right half of the body. Blood forced out of its vessels and uh, is gathering in my eye. Tumbling forward through the door, I instinctively try to push myself up off the thick carpet. But my right arm is completely powerless. I collapse awkwardly to the floor. Uh, uh. I think myself a little pure abdominal strength, I reach over to my right shoulder. Or what's left of it? The muscle and flesh are something gone. My fingers sink easily into a massive wound. <laughs> oh, that's not good. It's fine. I won't die. There's no real reason to believe that. But unless I convince myself it's true, I'm going to fall to the ground and lie there paralyzed. It's fine. It's nothing. It's just scratch. Human beings don't die that easily. There's no problem here. Repeating those words in my mind like a mantra, a mantra, I gather my willpower into a swirling vortex deep inside my gut. And... Stand up. I force my knees to push my body erect, but my legs shake like those of a newborn fowl. I can't get to my feet. From behind, the sound of a shotgun being pumped. Cold dread shoots in my sh cold dread shoots in my spine. Looking over my shoulder, I find the man with the gun scrubbing his eyes vigorously with the cuff of his suit as he hacks and wheezes painfully. He's in no shape to line up a shot, but at this range, even a blind, a uh, blindly fired warning shot could easily kill me. I bite down on my lower lip fiercely enough to draw blood, willing to willing my convulse. Uh, Willing my convulsing legs to support my weight, begging myself to stand. I've got to hurry. Back up might arrive any minute. I have to get out of here. Now. Leaning heavily against the wall, I rise to my feet. Slowly, painfully, I leave the president's office behind. The cigar lighting goddess tucked under my arm. Just be patient, Makina. Undoubtedly, I'm going to pick you up. Reaching the passage, I hold the statue up to the fire alarm above and bathe in a small blast of flame. Every emergency floor in the building will automatically unlock it when the fire alarm goes off. With this done, I can slip into and out of any floor. After pushing my way out uh, onto the emergency staircase to the exit of the sensor I disabled earlier, I jam the enormous lighter in between the handrail and the door's lever, render an enormous lighter, okay, rendering it impossible to open from the inside. Got get this patch somewhere. Maybe the gunshot was too large for a trauma to process, but it doesn't really hurt at the moment. Some part of my brain's probably excited. I dive, to, uh, I dive shock if I became aware of the pain. I swear to God, the world's too goddamn round. Oh, it's impossible to walk straight. Propelling myself from one near fall to the next, and trembling legs, I flee into the night. Ooh, and it goes the next day again, and to Ichigaya again. This is feeling all oh, too similar. 
先輩おはようございます、mm. 昨日はちゃんと眠れましたか What a similar conversation. 眠れたように見えるあんなことがあったのに眠ってる時間なんてあるわけないじゃないのああなんか先輩少し痩せました今朝試しに体重計に乗ってみたら3キロ痩せてたわまあ羨ましいあなたねそりゃあなたはいいわよ午前0時を過ぎた時点で交代になって家に帰ってシャワーを浴びてビール飲んでラーメン食べて寝たんでしょそりゃ太るわよ<笑>なんで知ってるんです I, I guess they have their sources. あなたの行動なんか簡単に予想できるわよ私やだなまさか私の部屋にカメラとかマイク仕掛けてないですよねなんであんたなんかの監視のために貴重な 1% 枠を割かなきゃいけないのよですよねそんなことより現場から逃走した9029号のその後の足取りはつかめたのいえそれがぷっつりと捉えたままです。That's impressive. I figured there'd be a blood trail again, but whatever. 最後の情報は昨夜の午前1時過ぎに上野駅の周辺でそれらしい人物を見たという不確かなもそう。もうどこかで死んじゃってるってことはないですかね。Still might legitimately be a thing. そう簡単に死ぬようには訓練してないわ。でも、現場で対応したハムイーンの報告では、致命傷を負わせたという話ですし、現場の視察に行ったうちの人間の話では、致死量に匹敵する血痕が確認できたそうですよ。でも、死体はまだ発見されていない。Sure. だったら、だといいんですけど。あいえ、別に先輩がかくまってるんじゃないかとか疑ってませんし、9029号が生きてたらいいなとか、肩を持つ発言をしたわけじゃないですよ。Ooh, that's a very different response. わかってるわよ。でも本当、どこへ行っちゃったんですかねカイリスマキナの病院は誰かうちの人間は張り付いているの<笑>いえ、誰も。イリスケからも何の依頼もありませんし。彼女もずっと病院で眠ったままでこれからさあねイリスキヨカは今日の4時の飛行機で海外へ渡るそうよ、hmm. 娘のサリナを連れてね、well, At least マキナ doesn't seem to be part of that situation at the moment マキナが置いてけぼりですか Good 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 九マル二九の死亡が確認できないうちは部活にタッチできないんじゃない<笑> You should keep it that way うちの9029はしつこいですからね。もし海外に逃げたとしても、しつこくどこまでも。えっと、何でしたっけそんな9029号を揶揄した言葉がありましたよね。9029に狙われるということは、キレの悪いクソに悩まされるようなものだ。でしょ<笑> ?Oh my, I have never heard anything like that before. それは12年前に。キューバの麻薬カルテルの幹部が先代の9029に対して言った言葉よいくつ代が変わろうと9029は恐怖のナンバーですよエースナンバーってやつですいつかは私も9029のケースオフィサーをすることになるんですかね、well, this point, I really hope not. そうねもし当代の9029の死亡が確認されて次代の9029にナンバーを引き継いだとしたらその時はあなたに預けてもいいわよ。Oh, this is going very similarly. 本当に、ね、歴代の I9029 号って言えば、命令無視に孔明に不服従。いつだって管理官を泣かしてきたって言いますしね。That's quite a different response as well. Interesting. いいじゃない。ほどよくダイエットできるわよ。Oh, it's perfect for her. なんか先輩見てると。人より早く老けそうで嫌だな。<笑>それってどういう意味かしらね。Means, 怒らないでくださいよ。Sure. What have you say? おっと、いいタイミングで緊急連絡。どこからで、あ,あ、なんだ。イリスマキナの病院から7時半の定時連絡です。お願い。えー。本日の午前6時30分、イリスマキナの意識が回復したようです。そう。よかった。And she's not gone? 
当人の意識はまだだいぶ混濁しているようですが、バイタルは極めて安定しているようです。Did he usually come back and tell her? よかったですね。Usually come back and tell her to wait there? そうね。後で今回の件の報告も兼ねて、お見舞いに行ってくるわ。バームクーヘン持ってそう。バームクーヘンを持ってね。Not that I took GR's frivolous banter seriously or anything, but I do stop at a Western style cake shop near Risa Mikan's hospital to buy a bank chin, however you pronounce that, prior to my visit the,、uh, that afternoon. When I return to my car, the one side broadcast on my navigation system is still buzzing with reports concerning the attempt assassination at Risa Kulo HQ last night. The contents of the stories are more or less the same, no matter what channel I flip to. The crime was the work of a terrorist group of unknown nationality. Sure. The ringleader and、uh, would be assassin was quickly overpowered by special police guarding the building, but attempted suicide. And although he was immediately rushed to the hospital, his death was confirmed in an ambulance prior to the arrival. It's a shoddy, hack nine bit of embroidery, but for some reason, it's just a sort of window dressing that the organism known as the public is most eager to swallow. Most likely because the, sto-、uh, the story full of holes offers more opportunity to carp out the government's response. It's a more、uh, entertaining that way. One morning talk show is quickly arranged for a special panel discussion featuring an economic analysis who's become popular early morning talking head recently. Along with a military commentator who's、uh, made a name for himself through comically strident anti American ravings. Frequent opponents currently engaging in a vigorous spit stewing exchange of ideas. Okay. テロリストといえば一言目には北だの東だのともてはやされていますが皆さんは某シー国という国の存在を忘れてはいませんかそう世界で2番目にプライドの高い国あの国です OK With a quiet snort I pick up the nav system's remote control and flip from one side progress and back to the GPS screen Mass media target i m b r o i d e r y type A plan B. The snare app prepared is permeating the public discord as much as anticipated. In 20 days, a pre planned shake up of the Ministry of Justice will become the new hot topic of the moment, and for the majority of the citizenry,、uh, this incident will be bundled off into a dusty corner of their memory. This chain of incidents has reached a tentative conclusion, but there's still the mystery of uh, I. Uh, I9029's current whereabouts. God, I can hear the little. And one other problem, simultaneously the most trivial and the most crucial element of the case, also remains unresolved. A mother who fled overseas, leaving her daughter in a hospital as though abandoning a broken toy she'd grown bored of. The question of how Rizu Magna will be, de-、uh, will be dealt with interests me greatly. A girl simply hasn't been left behind by an indifferent mother. That's only a superficial part of the truth. It would be more accurate to say that we've used the confusion to take control of her as a potential material witness. It proves a wise bet. In compensation for a full night accounting of events that took place last night, Risa Machina offers me extensive details concerning the Risa clan's past history of corruption and criminal misconduct. Oh, that will give you such an amazing like, leverage over them, right? The information in her verbal statement is astonishingly precise, proof that her memories of、uh, the family's secret record、uh, books remain vivid and clear now in the minutest of details. And so, in the form of the、uh, young woman, our organization obtains the Risu Clan's Book of the Dead, prize worthy of all we spent in this pursuit. The knowledge I gain this afternoon alone will be more th-、uh, than sufficient a bargaining chip to see your Risu's lips concerning 9029's misconduct. The addition of one more document to the most classified files of the secret organization known as CIRS,、uh, we immediately extend a guarantee of personal security to our newest resource. The question is, what is the question of 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 the question. Her eyes open. Well, I mean, this is definitely a much more positive、uh, ending so far, isn't it? But for the last little while, the girl's simply been staring at the apple seedling sitting by the window with a dopey look in her eye. Perhaps it would have been best to conceal the fact that Kazumi Yuji disappeared after suffering grave injuries. In combination with his failed assassination of Makina's own mother, the shock might, have,、uh, might even prove powerful enough to trigger a relapse of her prior aphasia. <laughs> I'm 
The girl no longer had any such thing. Her mother and sister have gone overseas in search of an organ donor. Her own family wanted her dead. Under such circumstances, who can she possibly return to? The only one possible answer. There's only one possible answer to my question. Um. Her father in heaven. Oh, that domesticated dog of ours who seems to have fallen off the face of the earth. Well, I suppose it really has to be the latter. Hmm. Well, I did. I wonder if I'm actually going to keep that. Seems unlikely at the moment, but still possible. Yuji really have survived that? Even the last one, he made all of his attempt to go and get to her by the time. Hmm. Are you gonna go to the station? Is it like by the end of the this day? I think it was by the end of this day. It wasn't like flashing back, right? No, it wouldn't have been flashing back. A lonely girl in the hospital bed, dreaming of an ephemeral future. Someday, the prince will come and carry her away. She truly believes that. And in time, the day will come when she can look back on that dream with no uh, nostalgia. With this little uh, soliloquy running through my head, I leave Risa Makina's hospital uh, room behind. The evening of that same day, I learned that she slipped out of her bed and disappeared quietly from the hospital. Mm -hmm, <laughs> a certain place indeed. <laughs> what a similar scene. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, that wouldn't be an inaccurate one. Mihamagakuinitakotomo.約束Makina. Papa! Am I dead this time? <sighs> Sorry. Guess I'm a little late. You wait long. I see. My bad. So I'm sorry. I told you I put an end to everything, but I couldn't pull it off. See, the whole thing about I didn't predict the idea that they could use Magina's secret as a way to basically just leverage over the Risu. And I guess that horrible person can just go about her life being horrible. Sorry, Serena. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do that. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's 
身を寄せ合うようにして電車に揺られるねえどこへ行くの Good question. Any place you want to go, Magna? Oh, sea. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, sea. So, we go to the beach and then what? <laughs> what else? What does it have to do with the beach? That's fine. We got the money. I haven't touched the 70 million yen he gave me. We can do anything at all, so long as they're not gonna, like, go after us, right? Uh, oh, no, let's not do that. That's not, that's, that sounds not great. Florida, huh? At a nice place? No. Well, I guess it is famous for the sex, but that's only because of Viagra and all the old people. Sounds appealing. I'm a big fan of both. I like that. Oh, we get Yap Puppy and a bicycle too. And at night we can go out and play fireworks. And let's see, let's see. What else? We still got plenty of money. I can know what do you want to do? I see. How? It's been like two days. I must have. There's no way I'd still be alive if I didn't at least patch it up somewhat. Yep. I screwed up a bit. That's fine. It doesn't hurt that much. Yeah, might be. It's getting hard to keep my eyes open. Feels like I'm going to fall asleep unless I keep talking. I'm not even seeing anything yet. I'm not even seeing anything. Huh? Normally I see the ending even if it doesn't record it correctly. Huh? Fuck it, I'm skipping that. Oh, that's a bit later. パパと約束した通りパパが私に返してくれた7000万円を元手に海辺の小さな町の片隅で小さなパン屋さんを始めた。ありがとうございました。また来てね。ああ、だけど、there's ま、最初の頃は日本人がやくパン屋ということであまりお客さんは多くなかったそれでも最近はお客さんも少しずつ増えてきてもし私一人だったらここまで来ることもできなかったし私には私を助けてくれる人が思った以上に Morning, Magina. I'm alive, maybe. I guess we'll see. We don't have quotation marks around it. Interesting. Yeah, I've been sleeping a lot better lately. Appreciate 
Interesting. Hmm. And it looks like I have shoulder. Like, I actually have a shoulder. What was it? The left shoulder? <laughs> to hear JB telling? I'm not a sweet enough mutt to roll over and die that easily. Oh, right arm. Oh, he doesn't have it. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, what are you gonna do? The bones and muscle on my shoulder were totally pulverized. So the arm was basically dangling off by a bit of skin. I knew it was gone the instant I got a decent look. When I was changing clothes in the station bathroom after being shot, I even considered just ripping the thing off and leaving it behind. Side against it, though. No reason to give some poor janitor heart attack. <laughs> well, thank you for missing the wound when you did that. True enough. Sorry about that. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Feels like a bit of a lucky break, if anything. Small price to pay for a divorce from the devil. Hmm, sure? Yeah, I'm actually starving. Hello? This is Mekina speaking. Mekina, Mekina, Mekina. Well, it's still happening. Cuts in the cradle and the silver spoon. A little boy for the man, the man. The man. なんなのよさ、こんな時間に。元気よ。30分後に迎えの車を出すわ。準備して。めんどくせえ。おめえがやれよ。ライフル貸してやっから。私まだ朝ごはんも食べてないのよ。あなたね。そんなもの私だって食
重度負傷で退役したパパの代わりに全てがこれまでの私にはなかったもので慣れないうちは戸惑うことも多いけれど I guess she did get... 私は今の生活に満足している。What was she wanted for the future to be a sniper and own a bakery? That sounds about right. ずっとずっと毎日楽しいに違いないとその穏やかな生活を守るのが今の私の一番の目標。確認した。たった一言ですぐに回線が切られるのにも慣れた。この幸せな生活を守るにはやらなければいけないことがたくさんある。でも大丈夫。今日はまだ頭は痛くない。Not yet. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I guess that would be the good ending because Yuji lived and it wasn't fucked up. Of, like, it's still sort of catching the cradle weird, but yeah, okay. Um. Uh. It's not the most satisfying of endings. I mean, it just. There's a bit of weirdness to it just suddenly being, Oh, we're in Florida now, Sniper Bakery, it actually all happened, Woo! An abruptness and the bad ending, things just escalated so goddamn quickly. Was there anything really suggesting that she was getting the same sort of head-hurting aspect to it? Why would they let her take over for the 9029 job? I mean, she certainly... I guess, is she in the training phase? Because it's not like it's been a year. It's not like she's been trained nearly as much as Yuji. Unless she picks up things just like exponentially faster. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Outside of that, some. Um... So, I mean, I like I like the ending. It's it definitely it was too long. It definitely was too long. Um, I don't think it was necessarily a bad length, as much as. I don't think I can go into another ending right away. At this point, I really would have liked if Muv Love Alternative had come out by now, because god fucking damn it, that would be the perfect excuse to take a break from this. Uh, I do want to finish it all. I do want to do that eventually. Uh, but I think I'm going to do this. I currently have three series running between this persona and uh, Trails in the Sky. So I, I, I know Trails in the Sky is probably reaching near its conclusion as well. Um, its final conclusion. Uh, I, I, I think I'm going to finish up that series and go to two series between Persona and uh, Trails in the Sky and then come back to this with uh, another route, assuming Marvel Love Alternative or something else doesn't come up that does that. And then after that, I'll decide precisely how long I'll uh, stay on that before I move on to something else or take another break, maybe, because there's a lot of endings to this. And I got... This is longer than my Muv Love Alternative stuff. Eh, no, not my alternative. My Muv Love stuff, just period, extra unlimited. And it's just... That felt like a long time, and this has been even longer, and it's just... I've only done two of the five endings. Just like, what? What? Oh my goodness. Uh, and I definitely feel as though I'm gonna have to be taking breaks between routes at this point, just because... I'm gonna... I'm gonna burn myself out on it, just completely, if I don't do that. Almost treating them like different games entirely. Just take some small breaks, come back to it when I can. 
I do want to do the Amane route last, so if I'm doing the Sachi and Sakaki ones, I was told that I think they're on the shorter side, technically, in comparison to this and the Amane one, which are on the longer side. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get them in a similar length as Michiru's stuff and be able to not be as burned out and be able to come back to them sooner. It all depends on the schedule of other games and stuff, but for now, I think I'm going to take a break from that. If I go at the Trails in the Sky stuff, so expect it, like... Um, I have been told by people uh, watching that that they don't expect it to go beyond 40 episodes. I'm pretty sure it's going to be at 33 by the time this comes out. So if I go at that three episodes a week, I can't imagine it going past another couple weeks before I come back to this. So I'm just going to take a break, and I'm going to be perfectly fine with taking a break. I mean, I've enjoyed it, but it is this is a very long thing. This is a very, very long thing, and it's very easy to get burned out on stuff that are just long and have a lot of stops and starts. Starting up something new might actually be enough to rejuvenate me a little bit, but I do want to take a little bit of a break, so. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next between Sakaki and Saji. Still want to, like I said, want to do Amani's last, but um, overall, for this uh, route, I did like a lot of aspects of it, like I said before, the different, um, I thought a lot of it was done well. I just think there was too much of it. Um, without enough... What's the best way to phrase it? What is <laughs> There's an aspect of writing where, pacing-wise, I was still interested in all the way through, but there's a point in terms of pacing where in your mind you're like, like, I'm enjoying this, but I'd love to get to something like a conclusion at some point, because I, I want... I don't want to just go through this forever and ever, and it's starting to feel like forever and ever, even if I'm still enjoying it to some extent. There's definitely times where it just felt like it was... It's weird, because I wouldn't say the actual content felt like it was dragging. It was all, at the very least, decent. Even at its worst times, it was at the very least decent. And I wouldn't even say, like, individual scenes felt like they were dragging. Well, some of them certainly go on much longer than they should. But there's... And I wouldn't even say all the different scenes were unnecessary. But I guess the writing didn't feel as tight, I guess is the best way to phrase it, as I really feel it could have benefited from. I guess that's the only way I have to phrase it. But yeah, I'll see you all again when I come back to this in like a week or two. So, I don't know exactly when that'll, been, uh, when that'll be. If you're really curious, I guess just keep an eye on my channel for whenever Trails in the Sky ends, and I'll come back to this as a C2 series between Persona and uh, this at that point. Ah, oh, it's impressive. It's impressive how long this is. Oh, I'll see y'all next time. Drive safely, everyone.